Okay, so I'm doing my little blog slash video on my pre-surgery, which is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I'm having an upper and lower blepharoplasty and also a mini facelift because I do have, I'm um, getting, oh, you can't see it, but um, I'm, I, I'm getting my turkey neck and a little bit of, I'm just having a mini facial lift just to kind of bring things back up, my last minute youthfulness before it all goes in the kicker. But as you can see, this one eye is starting to droop and this one is too. And actually this is the second time that I've had those done. So um, three years of stress has definitely taken a toll. Um, the lower I'm trying to, you know, get rid of that tired look. Um, so, we will see how things go. I'm trying to get into a little bit of sun here so everybody can kind of see. Um, actually, the sun makes me look better. But um, any type of shadowing, any type of pictures, you know, I do to, well, go back to, I do look really tired, um, which I am half the time. Um, and then here you can see the skin on my neck. So I'm um, curious to see how everything's gonna go. Um, I will do some post-op videos to see how things go afterwards and then we'll I'm gonna post all of this on YouTube or wherever just to kind of give people more of a step-by-step -step on how this process goes so peace out and see you all tomorrow okay this is post-op day number one just came from the doctors and they took out the drainage tubes not saying I could feel better right now there's a lot of swelling but pain is bearable. Um, more belly pains than anything, probably from anesthesia. But just doing day number two, or actually post-op day number one. And we'll see what I look like day to day. Peace out. Okay, this is post-op day number two. My surgery was on Monday, and today is Wednesday. I did go to the doctor yesterday and they took out the drains, thank God. But as you can see, lots of swelling and some bruising. But he assured me that all of this will go down. And he said everything went great. <laughs> I'm laughing, saying, why am I doing this again? But um, anyway, I'm gonna just do daily videos just for the process for those who wanna know. It is very bearable. Um, the eyes didn't hurt as much as I thought they would. The one uh, incisions behind the ear, um, I think, hurt worse with the drain tubes. Huh. Took the drain tubes out, forgot to take my pain medicine, thought I was going to pass out. But today, I actually feel pretty good. So let's um, talk tomorrow. That will be post-op day number three tomorrow. All right, bye. Okay, post-op day number five. Of course, I'm not as bulky. I, I'm over that. Um, as you can see, the eyes are looking a lot better. Um, a lot more clear. Bruising's going downward the face. Some of this bruising's going down. I'm starting to do warm compresses, looking a lot better. Um, not as scared to look at myself in the mirror anymore. I, maybe the shock. <laughs> but anyway. Post up day number five, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, just checking in. Hi, Dr. Kolbersh. Um, this has been uh, month number two uh, on my journey to healing and, and very happy with the procedure that has been done. And as you can see, I probably only had about five hours sleep and I'm not looking tired so it's working out great um, so just wanted to kind of tie up um, you know healing scar tissue um, I am a nurse so I kind of have an idea of what's going on um, but you know sometimes if you have like a lot of bit of a pulling or like a pinch or something it's just scar tissue um, stretching and doing the massages um, around the ears and stuff like that really helped great. Um, but anyway, very, very happy with my results. Um, happy to tell people that 
I am 50 and fabulous, so it's all awesome. So thank you very much, Dr. Kolbersch, for the amazing results and the surgery.